Oh, my, my beer is getting out of control here. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Today's episode is about fish handling etiquette. Yes, etiquette. I heard you guys like the etiquette videos. Most of us are releasing the fish that we catch, and we should try to make sure they actually survive the experience. It swam away just fine doesn't always mean that the fish live. I think this video is probably mostly about trout fishing. I should mention that. Just thought of that. Threw that in there. That's what you call an ad lib. You may have heard of hash brown, keep them wet. Well, that's good advice, and keeping fish wet can prevent a lot of the problems that come with handling fish. First, let's do some science. Put on a lab coat and light your Bunsen burner. We're gonna talk about two things, a fish's slime coat and a fish's need for oxygen. A fish's slime coat is like its immune system. It's a barrier against pathogens that it comes into contact with. It prevents the fish from getting sick. We want to avoid damaging the fish's slime coat. Duh. Pro tip, don't damage the fish's slime coat. The best way to do this is to leave the fish in the water and not touch it at all. But sometimes you'll have to touch a fish to release it, or maybe you want a photo. So let's talk about that. First, if you're gonna touch a fish, wet your hands before you do. If you touch a fish with dry hands, it takes the slime off of the fish. It's better to hold the fish with wet hands than to just let it flop around on the ground. Right, dude? Let me say this again. Do not let the fish flop on the ground, ever, right? I'm right with that, aren't I? I don't care if it's sand, concrete, grass, wet leaves, whatever. Do not let the fish flop on the ground. Think that's clear? It's terrible for the fish and it makes you look like a chunk. Yeah, I said chunk. People like me are looking at your photos and we see the bits of dirt and blades of grass that are stuck to your fish. We know what that means. And what it really means is that you won't be invited to fish with us. You're not impressed? Okay, that's the slime coat. Now let's talk about oxygen. Those sweet O's, baby. If you don't know this already, fish breathe oxygen just like we do, but they get it from the water, not from the air. Not everybody has basic biology knowledge. I'm coming to find out. If you're holding a fish out of the water, it can't breathe. Let me say that again. It can't breathe. Think about this. How would you feel if you got in a fight and lost and then somebody shoved your head underwater. Yeah, that's what it's like for the fish when you catch them. One thing you can do is hold your breath the whole time you have a fish out of the water. If you need to breathe, the fish does too. This is good advice. Bottom line, just keep the fish in the water as much as possible. If you do have a fish out of the water, another thing to think about is air temperature. If you're a trout weenie who's fishing when the air temperature is below freezing, be careful when you have the fish out of the water. I call them trout weenies. Having a fish out of the water when it's really cold can damage its eyes eyes or gills. I believe that's called freezing. The eyes and gills are important body parts that you want to protect. Speaking of gills, keep your fingers away from them, always. If you've ever had someone shove their fist into your lungs, you'll know why. Hey, look who I found. It's James from About Trout. You remember James, right? Check out his website. I'll leave a link in the video description. Abouttrout.com, baby. If you are handling fish, one thing I encourage you to do is give them a sniff. Fish have different smells. Get to know and love them. Some are good, some are bad. What do I want to say here? I'm just talking to myself. Another quick thing, don't squeeze the fish. They are soft and squishy. You can hurt them. If you squeeze too hard, you can damage their internal organs. You don't want to do that, do you? Let's finish up with the best way to release a fish. Leave it in the water. It might be in your net. Grab the hook. You might have to use your little grabber thingies and just pull upwards by the bend of the hook. You know what I'm talking about when you just go beep. Pull on the hook so the bend is pointing straight up in the air and the fish should fall off the point. Your hook is barbless, right? So it'll just slide right out. You don't have to touch the fish at all or take it out of the water. It's a win-win, although the fish probably doesn't feel like it won anything. So to sum it all up, keep the fish wet, touch it as little as possible, and be gentle with it, and don't forget to take a sniff. Thanks for watching another Huge Fly Fisherman video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next Monday with another video. Check out hugeflyfisherman.com and buy stuff, and stay huge. It's fine. Because I know it's fine. I didn't make you sign an NDA. I, sh I should start doing this. <laughs>